Hi guys, how are you doing? Senior Gaming here and in today's episode I'm bringing you Psychic Idol and I've got for you 10 tips for beginners. So if you're Psychic Idol player or perhaps Idol gamer then make sure you subscribe to the channel as I post as often as possible and bring you best tips and advice. And if you enjoyed the video then make sure you like it, this way we're gonna attract it more and more new audience, we're gonna come here and hopefully find something useful. So thank you very much every single one of you. All right then. So the tip number one is going to be a daily quest. It's pretty obvious for this kind of games that you want to come and complete them every single reset is happening. So you're going to head over to this quest tab in the top right hand side. And in here we only got a seven quest when it comes to dailies. You'll be rewarded with obviously gems and various keys which are needed for dungeons for overall progress. The game will actually start unlocking more and more content as you're going to progress. So if you've been playing for a while, you will definitely now know that you've got various dungeons that you can participate if you're just starting out don't worry the game will literally take you step by step what you need to do i'm talking here obviously daily you will have a main quest normal and attendance as well but the daily is the something you definitely want to address because any other quest you can literally just come back at any given point to claim rewards here obviously once the reset is passed if you have not completed it you're gonna lose it Right, so tip number two is gonna be event. Again, one of these sections you're gonna find in the top uh, right hand side. So if you're gonna tap on event, and if you go in the secondary category, you will have different ongoing events. So as you see, this one will now finish on the 26. We just had one of the events which just ended. It's important, again, that you will come into these missions every single day and complete them. A lot of these, again, like attendance, obviously you will be able to claim it every single day. But it's important you come into these missions. When the reset hit, you could potentially lose a chance to get these special event materials. And if you're unsure what to do, as you got this underway section in here, you, all you need to do is just tap on it and the game will actually take you to exact place where it needs you to complete some requirements or obviously hit some new areas or kill monsters etc well also when it comes to event you go, you will have this hot time so as you see we've got obviously battle buff and then in in here you will have a different boost so as you see we've got monday wednesday and friday a double raid when it comes to underground mal drop which is one of these dungeons i have mentioned earlier as you see you've got additional gifts etc but also what um, happened with the recent update we actually got this massive um, title here pretty much on top of the screen so it's very hard to now miss what's on this hot time tip number three is gonna be cubes so we're gonna head over to uh, I'm gonna extend that menu here and we're gonna tap onto a summon section so in here is gonna be obviously where all the magic happens where you're gonna try to summon all pieces of your accessory equipment etc but when you'll be completing events and quests, etc., you're gonna be uh, receiving these cubes. Obviously, you got the smaller cubes and the larger cubes, and as you see, the one small cube will summon something 11 times, whilst the other 34 plus this bonus. All you need to bear in mind, for instance, once we got a green cube, because if we go in a drone, we're gonna have a different one, amplifier, and so on and so on. Once you got equipment and you've got six different to choose from, it's not that the green cube will represent, for example, smartphone, which is our weapon. You actually can use exactly the same cube across all these. So if, let's say, I've got six categories, I would probably use six each to try to level it out. And that will lead into a tip number four, which is equipment. And once we are already here, all you want to know that in many games, there is definitely always recommended to max weapon, you know, to go as heavy with weapon as possible. In here, you want to go pretty much with as much levels as possible. Obviously, as you see, I'm just sort of trying to experiment here, but probably get everything leveled out to level 10 now in comparison to my smartphone. Because that was my gut feeling. I was thinking I just got to go with the weapon as soon as possible. But actually, once we come out from equipment, and then we're gonna go into, sorry, summon and then go into equipment category. If you go on that set effect, this is where all the magic happens. This is where you're gonna have a great multipliers, you're gonna have a percentage of boosts, etc. And this is where you want to be. As you see, you want to keep increasing a main abilities or critical effects. And just by investing in weapon itself, you won't have as much bonus as you would combine these sets together. So when it comes to equipment, you want to summon all equipment in a similar level to then go and claim these set effects in equipment section. Right, 
Now when it comes to a tip number 5 it's gonna be buffs and obviously you will have them here unless you purchase certain a pack. I do not own any pack, I come here and watch ads every single day. And what's great about it, you can actually have a maximum of 24 hours of this buff. And this is the advice, you got to make sure you have this buff up and running all the time. And 24 hours is a lot, you at least gonna log in once a day and obviously boost the uh, buffs again. So, you know, in comparison to other games where sometimes you got 15 minutes, 20 minutes per buff and you have to watch it again, in here we actually can boost it up to 24 hours, which is definitely brilliant. Okay. Now we're moving into a skills which in these games are called super power. So once you obviously start the game and what you see on the screen as well, we're using some of um, some of the singular skills. If I just pull the skills out, I'm using one of these ice bullets, which I'm gonna tell you a little bit more in just a second. But you will be also using these wide range uh, skills. So as you see, we actually got some of the primary one, but the main farming strategy comes in from these wide range skills because you pretty much, as you see, you are hitting all the targets on a map. So that's always gonna be a quickest way to obviously grind your way up. So you want to go ahead and obviously set up as soon as possible some of these wide range skills. So if we tap back on a um, super power here, we've got a wide range. I'm using first two and the reason for it as well is that EP cost. So this, they got a lowest EP cost and also they got a very low cooldown, which means I'll be able to cast these skills as often as possible. Now when it comes to gems, so obviously this is going to be your premium currency, you're going to find it on the top of your screen. Uh, again, it's going to be a reward from every single uh, daily mission, attendance and various events. My recommendation is you definitely spend gems only on summoning and as mentioned earlier, you want to summon evenly. Um, so every single time you get in a handful of gems, I have managed to farm a little bit more than expected now. I'll definitely go there and as you've seen, I have these levels pretty uneven. I'll try to get everything now to level 10 as soon as I can. So your gems definitely should be spent on summoning as soon as you get some. Alright then, so the tip number 8 is gonna be mileage and you're gonna head over to a shop this time. And in here, obviously, this is where you can pull out your credit card and spend some money and obviously have a great rewards. Um, and then we're gonna have normal gem decor and finally you've got that mileage. So when it comes to mileage, you will have again chances of actually getting a lot of great rewards. Um, and you will you will be receiving mileage for completing a lot of different quests, events, etc. But my recommendation is, as this is what I have done, I have actually gone with one of the singular skills, which is a R rank, and now I'm also going for this U rank. I'm trying to get that laser. So currently, if we just head over back to skills very quickly, if you go superpower and basic. As you see, just by uh, playing a game, I was able just to get a first skill to level 4, then we go 3-3-1, free, free and just by purchasing it by the, uh, with the mileage, I have managed to boost my Ice Bullet to level 4, and I've got this laser I'm working on now. So this is a great boost, because my strongest skill had a sort of 400, 500%, now we're talking 2200. And the reason I'm using these, even though it's got a lower damage is obviously a firing three ice bullets rather than one laser so this is now the strongest skills i've got and i definitely recommend that you will pop in there spend your mileage because that will boost your overall progress you'll be able to push a few more stages with this powerful skill okay now we're moving back to a growth sections now and then you got you will have these uh, two tabs um i would say yeah, ability will come a little bit later, but the f when it comes to beginning section, Enlighten and Quantum Jump will be something you're gonna unlock pretty early. So in order to actually spark Enlighten, which as you see, it's boosting your overall stats, you can either complete it now by using this computer part, or you can just wait on time. And when it comes to Quantum Jump, again, you can increase chance with uh, one of these materials, or you can actually try, obviously, and land it with all your success rate. The thing is, when it comes to Enlighten, you will be using a certain material and you can speed it up with computer parts. Again, when it comes here, you can use an Enlightenment Stone to increase the chance and then try 
um, quantum jump. It sounds maybe slightly complicated, but where I'm going with this, when you got enlightened, try not to spend this currency to speed it up. And again, when you're in quantum, not, try not to increase the chances because these are actually one of the resources that you need. As you see, we've got enlightenment stone, which is needed basically for enlightenment. And we've got a computer parts that you can speed up the process, but computer parts, back again, back again if we go into equipment and computer itself, it's just easier to keep upgrading these permanent bonuses rather than spending it on speeding up the progress. So you're definitely better off to come here and just keep upgrading because anything you upgrade will boost your overall passive bonuses. Okay, and now finally when it comes to tip number 10 is gonna be decor. As you see I have managed to uh, change into a rabbit with a backpack, a little bit of balloon and I'm shooting carrots left, right and center. Obviously we're gonna head over to decor um, and then you'll, you'll be spending gems in order to do it. As you see, we've got here a possession effect rather than equipped effect, meaning every single time you're gonna purchase one, this is again a permanent perk that will stay with you forever. There will be a rewards on the back of events, etc. Some of the um, stuff you'll be able to purchase with uh, milestone rewards, etc. But the game, it's very, very straightforward. It's quite a lot of happening on the screen, as you see, but once you're gonna put your time and effort in, you will see the game will be unlocking one concept after another. So even though it's quite a lot on the screen, that's why when we have just started, I have pretty much tried to tidy up all the UI. Um, and I got to say, the game so far, it, it's very, very good. Um, there is pretty good community as well. When you just tap on the chat, there is quite a lot of happening. Um, so you can ask for advice and they are very, very friendly to do so. But overall, if you just go and implement these 10 tips, you should definitely see your progress going from strength to strength. All right then, guys, I hope you found this useful. Again, if you have, like it and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much, guys, for watching and take care.